Hello all, uh, it's my pleasure today to show you my carbon fiber guitar. It's an OX RAW without electronics. Um, you know, if you're going to have a carbon fiber guitar that you can take to the beach or mountains or anywhere, I don't know why you would want electronics in it, but a lot of people do. Um, I bought this one used on Reverb without electronics. It's a 2015 model. Uh, I can't say enough good about it. It plays like an electric guitar. It's got a fast, slim neck, but it does have the one and three quarter inch um, nut width. So uh, it sounds really good. I am shocked. I I've owned probably five Martins. Two or three of them I bought new, and uh, I'm shocked at how much this sounds like a Martin. Now, does it compare? Certainly not, but the tone lends itself to a Martin-esque tone. Um, I'm not much of a picker. I'm going to do a little flat picking. Also, my phone, the battery is in, so I might have to do a two-part video. Hard luck, pop a count, this toll, smell his dirty feet wherever he goes. Lord, Lord, I got the Browns, fairy blues. Two old maids are laying in the sand, each one a wishing that the other was a man. Lord, Lord, I got the Browns, fairy blues. I can't say enough good about it. It's got the um, raw finish on it, I think is what it's called. Um, a little bit of wear to it, but if you take a polish to it, which I'll do before I list it, that comes off. The only mark on it anywhere, I don't even know if you can see it, um, a little mark right here by my finger. I, yeah, okay, there, you can probably see it. I don't know what that's from, but these are basically indestructible, um, not entirely, but, uh, you know, normal wear and tear, you're never going to damage it. It takes the humidity, obviously, well. I mean, if you leave it in the desert for a month, I don't think it'll hold up as well as a lot of people think. But you're not supposed to leave your guitar in the desert. If you leave it in the car for a day or two, I don't think that's a big deal uh, for one of these. The It's entirely carbon fiber, entirely um, manufactured material, with the exception, of course, of the tuners and the frets, and I think the frets are stainless steel, so you won't be replacing anything on this guitar except the strings for a long time. Uh, still has the same strings on it as when I bought it. Uh, I don't know what they are. They feel like they're maybe 12s, I guess. Um, <clears throat> all the reason I'm selling is because I have a couple of banjos that are on the market that I want to buy back. <laughs> eh, you know how we are, right? <laughs> All right. Another reason I'm selling is I just bought myself a 1954 Gibson Southern Jumbo, which has been my dream guitar. But this thing finger picks, finger picks well too. I don't have my finger picks, but I do have a uh, thumb pick. I'll hit it up with here. I'm working on a building, I'm working on a building, I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. Great resonance, it's just a fabulous guitar. <laughs> 